I'm so excited. Like, I'm telling y'all. I'm focused, man. Tell success to holla at me, man. Like, What's up, family? I feel like it's been so long since I've talked to you guys. Since we were waiting until all the stuff that was pending on my account, like I said in the budget video I posted um, for my first April paycheck, which I will link up in the atmosphere somewhere over here or there. It's somewhere. It'll be up top. Just look. Um, to show you how we were allocating all of our money for our first paycheck into our budget. So, at long last, everything has cleared, gone through, and I got like the full sum of what I would be stuffing. So aside from bills which have been paid and money that I had to leave in the bank because there are like electronic transfers and all that, we are now ready to stuff, guys. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna sit one binder off to the side just for a second. And as usual, we're gonna dig into our good old budget binder. And we are going to start with our everyday, which is gas, grocery, self-care. And there's one more. Where's my household? Oh, household is still in my purse, which I believe is on the counter and not next to me. So, all right, we'll just start with this. All right, so for gas, um, I had already taken 20 out and put that in the tank. So right now I only owe it 10. So we're gonna take this good old $10. We are jumping right in. Like, I'm so proud of myself, y'all. I'm finally getting the hang of like budgeting, making sure like my account stays good and oh, still peeling. But all right, for grocery, we already took out the money for that. So we're skipping that as well because that has been taken out and spent. How was everyone's Easter? Because <laughs> that was what I took the money to spend for Easter dinner. All right, so self-care is getting 25, I believe, which is just a 20 and a five. But I made some baked macaroni and cheese, some candy yams, then we had a roast, potato salad, corn, and then I made myself some uh, cauliflower mac and cheese. So that was our Easter dinner. All right, so give me one second while I go get household. Okay, I'm back and never mind because household is actually out in the car in my other purse. I thought it was in my work purse, but it wasn't. And I honestly don't feel like going outside right now. So we're just gonna take the money for household and set it to the side, which I believe was 15. So, or was it 10? I think it was 10. So we're just gonna take this 10 and set it to the side. And when I get outside, I'll put it in there. I just, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't feel like going through that. So every day is done, and now we're going into prep and landing. Okay, so starting off prep and landing is our miscellaneous envelope, which is getting $15. 5, 10, 15. What up? Put this in here. Sit that to the side. Tom Tom and Theo, they both get their usual 10. So for Tom Tom, for Theo. And can y'all believe like my baby turned nine and all of a sudden he has preferences, like he doesn't want his nickname to be Tom Tom anymore. He wants it to be LT because that's cooler than Tom Tom. Ugh, the nerve. All right, so now in Tom Tom's envelope, we have 20, 30, 40, 
55, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. And of course, deals will be the same. Like, just the nerve of him. Now, all of a sudden, he has to be cool, and his nickname has to be cool. <sighs> Alright, but back to school, gets his usual 40. And it still has 40 left in it. You remember, we already took, hit our $300 threshold and took the other, the rest of the money to the bank. So... I do have like a little bit of bad news because I had ordered my placeholders to go in the envelopes to represent the money that I had deposited into the bank. Okay, so yeah. So do I really need to count that? Like we had 40, we added 40 to $80, but two, four, six, 80, you know, just for the people who like to see the money actually counted, I got you. All right, so now we have $80 in back to school. But back to the envelopes, I ordered them. Uh, Beauty is getting, Beauty is currently empty because you guys remember in one of my vlogs, we went to the beauty supply store and I braided my hair. So Beauty is empty. But we're gonna put $10 into Beauty. But I ordered the envelopes. They got sent in the mail. I got the tracking. It said they got delivered on the second. So I go to check the mailbox. Guess what wasn't in it? My placeholders. So I go to the post office and I'm like, um, good old USPS, gotta love them. I go to them. So now we're going into build. And we'll start with retirement, which is getting 25. And I'm like, you know, you said you delivered my package, but it's not in my mailbox. And they're like, oh, well, what's the tracking number? So I gave them the tracking number that was given to me from Etsy. They're like, oh, that's not a real USPS tracking number. And if the package doesn't have a tracking number, we can't help you as we like we don't know what happened to your package, so we can't help you. So I went there twice, y'all. Like twice. They were like, contact the seller again, tell them to give you the actual tracking number. Contacted the seller. The seller gave me the exact same tracking number because she sent my placeholders in regular mail like in just a regular envelope not in like a package or a priority mail like it was just regular good old in a plain envelope with a couple stamps and that was it so you know of course that mail doesn't get tracked so that's why there was no tracking number and so Etsy just makes up their own sort of tracking number because they have their own little system to like help the buyer know where their stuff is and when it's coming but that didn't help me none because the post office was still like, yeah, we can't help you. We don't know anything about Etsy's little tracking system. Like that has nothing to do with us. Like we need a USPS tracking number. So basically I was thinking, okay, my package is basically just gone. Like I spent money for no reason because... It's not like I can ask the seller for a refund because technically they did their job. They sent it out. Put the right address on it. It said it got delivered to Fort Carson. Just something happened once it got here to where I never got it. But then at the same time, I was like, who the hell? Pardon my language. But if you're sending a package to someone, no, it didn't cost a lot. Like I ordered two um, sets of the placeholders. So they were like $5 a piece. So plus shipping and taxes it came to like eleven dollars and some change so no i didn't spend a lot but at the same time it was still my hard-earned money and i paid for that so i didn't get why they would send it regular mail like i get you want to 
you know, keep your costs down and make it more efficient for yourself so that you can have more of a profit. But still, like, it shouldn't have been a question of now I can't get my package because I can't track it because you sent it regular mail. And then I'm pissed at the post office because they're telling me there's nothing they can do. So I basically just wrote it off. But I just gave it one last ditch effort and I went to my neighbor's houses knocking on the door like, hey, did you guys get a package? to with my name on it like to the wrong address and so someone actually did the mailman put my package in the wrong mailbox so I mean I guess you don't need to like really be good <coughs> excuse me I had to sneeze but I guess you don't have to really be good with your numbers to work for USPS because he gave it to an address that ends in three and our address ends in six so I never knew a three and a six to be the same but apparently he thought it was so the neighbor was like yeah but I put it back in the mailbox into the outgoing so now I have to wait until the post office picks up the outgoing mail and sees hopefully my address again and they put it in the right box and then I'll get my placeholders but it was stressful. I was so annoyed. So now in retirement, we have $100, $145 is in retirement. Like, I was so hot. My money and they playing. All right, so new house and new car are both getting 15 So we'll just take out two tens. And see, I did something wrong because I should have enough fives. Yeah, I definitely did something wrong. But I'll figure it out. Um, oh, and this is the receipt from when I deposited the money that we reached in new house into the bank. So we are starting over again. Also, the receipt when I deposited the money for new car. Starting over as well in this envelope. And I got to figure out what I did. To where I should have enough fives. But okay. I don't feel like backtracking right now so that was long term all done and now we are getting into emergency fund which is getting twenty dollars All right, so car maintenance is done, and there's actually change in car maintenance because when I went to get my oil change, so I will take the change out, let's go into the piggy bank. All right, pennies, cooperate. So we'll sit that there. And now in car maintenance, after my good old oil change, we have 50, 100, 50, 200, 2, 4, 50, 61. So 261 dollars is now in car maintenance. And again, I'll update my trackers off camera. So travel is getting ten dollars. And as you guys can see, travel is empty. Because again, like I said in the budgeting video, I put travel money towards um, our Disney cruise for next year in addition to what I saved from March Madness. So we are on our way. Like, I'm so excited. Like, I'm telling y'all, I'm focused, man. Tell success to holla at me, man. Like, y'all don't understand. I'm so excited. I never thought I would be able to, like, save money and just not touch it 
Like, cause you know, sometimes you get the itch to where like, you know what, I have to spend something. I have the money so I can just spend it. But how disciplined I've been, I'm so proud of myself. All right, so we put $10 into, I did not mean to do that. Why am I, let me stop talking. Cause we already did card maintenance. Pull from the wrong file. Okay, sit that there. Travel is done. Business gets 10. Business is also empty because I had to uh, renew some sort of like, I don't know, legal formality for my LLC, but that is done. So why do I have extra? Oh, yes, for the other binder. I always forget about this other binder, y'all. I really do. Like, it don't make no sense. All right, and then that goes into household. So, open up our good old binder. So, in birthdays, that is getting 10. And Tom Tom thoroughly enjoyed his little birthday. Like, so much so that there is no money left in here. Like, zero money dollars is left in birthday. So we are starting that again. Uh, Christmas, that is also getting 10. Like he had so much fun. Like you know how kids are so dramatic, but you just kept saying like, oh, this is the best birthday ever. But I feel like last birthday he said the same thing, so. But whatever, I'm glad he had fun. But I will tell you that little Venom birthday a package that I got him, I could have just, when we got to the bowling alley, we blew up the balloons. And as the kids started arriving, all they did was play with the balloons. Like majority of the time we had to remind them like, hey, so-and-so it's your turn to bowl. Go bowl, cause they were just running around playing with balloons. Next birthday, I'm just gonna put them in a room full of balloons and call it a day. Cause that's all they was doing, playing with balloons. Two, four, six, seventy, eighty, ninety. So that is now ninety dollars in Christmas. Like that was some real play with the box of a two hundred dollar toy type of situation. Just playing with balloons. All right. So in Black Friday, that is also getting ten dollars. So now Theo's birthday is in July and he had so much fun that now he can't wait until his little birthday party. But honestly, he mess around with me and he'll be the first child to have a balloon party. So in Black Friday, we now have two, four, six, 70, 80, 90 as well. that in here oh I actually picked up two tens by accident so what were you supposed to go in is the question all right so let's put these back into build Break out the binder. Uh, we put the $10 into gas. We weren't putting anything into grocery. We put 25 into self-care. Household was supposed to get 15. So that 10 will take and sit to the side. Um, miscellaneous got 10. Let me double check. No, miscellaneous, why do you have 15? That's not how that was supposed to go. All right, so miscellaneous was supposed to get 10. Let's correct some mistakes. 
new car. It's supposed to get 15, new house gets 15. So a new car right now, all we have is 10. And new house, we have 15. So now that we freed up the fives, we'll take this five and put it into new car. So new car now has $15. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was doing all that like off camera, but okay. New car now has $15. New house now has $15. Uh, business was supposed to have 10. We did that. Travel got its 10. Car maintenance. Um, was supposed to have 15. And I think, let me just take the whole thing out. This, this is really cumbersome. All right. Check, check. Cart maintenance, we were supposed to put in 15. 50. So I believe we added a 10. Now we have a five, because this goes to household. Household gets 15, so we take this last five, bam, everything is right in the world again. There we go. That's where I messed up. I put three fives into miscellaneous when I was only supposed to put a 10. So, problem solved. Emergency fund is good, travel is good, and business is good. All right, so I'm gonna close that. And then this will be going into household when I get outside to my car. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this really quick, like super duper quick cash stuffing. Uh, we didn't stuff that much, but again, it's not about what you stuff, it's just as long as you stuff. If you only got a dollar to stuff, stuff it. Like, ain't no shame in your game. It shouldn't be. Like, who gonna judge you? Who gonna check you, boo? Save your coins. If you only got coins, save your coins. It adds up. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And like I said in the past couple videos, all 2021 and beyond, we are slaying our own dragons, solving our own problems, and doing things for ourselves. All right. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Can I take you there?